Smart wearables are an incredible part of tech that have gradually evolved into, arguably, essential items. Smart watches are the main example in the case that they take information away from our phones and make it more easily accessible. But most other wearables have had a rougher go of it. After all, we can only really transform how we digest data into two main ways, visibly and audibly. Now, with a couple of high-profile announcements and leaks recently, it looks like we're finally going to get a continuation of another form of smart tech, smart glasses. But so far, we've had a few examples, so how far have we come? Well, this is Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Here are my thoughts on smart glasses so far, featuring the Focals by North and the Bose Frames, sponsored by Glasses USA. Okay, so it should be pretty obvious why this topic is important to me, because I wear glasses every day. It's hard not to get excited over the prospect that an essential part of my life will get enhanced. And also, it's like low-hanging fruit. If a pair of smart glasses have my prescription, they're already helping me out, so that's an easy win. I've tried a few different pairs of smart glasses over the last year or so, but the progress that we've made so far is honestly a little bit slow. If anything, this is my way of hyping up the pairs that we now know are on their way in 2020 and beyond. Just a really quick note, you're going to see these hooks a lot in this video. Uh, they're not the sponsor, but I have to shout them out because they're called the Keepons and they are a lifesaver. For those of you who wear glasses every day, imagine never having to adjust your glasses like this anymore. Not every pair of glasses will sit on your face perfectly. For me, it's these Ray-Bans. Uh, but for most glasses, I have to have these hooks so that they sit just right on my face and the hooks keep them in place. They literally never move and I never have to do this anymore. Check the description for a link to the keepons and to every pair of glasses that I talk about in this video. Okay, so one way of making smart glasses is by injecting some audio. There are a bunch of options out there, but if you ask me, they're just trying to follow the current king of audio glasses, the Bose frames. These are the current gold standard of fun audio smart glasses. The style is accessible, echoing wayfarers, and there's a single button that controls pretty much everything going on. A specific charging cable latches onto one of the arms, and finally they have that Bose signature sound to provide an enjoyable listening experience. Now you'll find something odd about my pair if you've followed these glasses before. Yes, there are clear lenses in here. You guessed it, they are prescription lenses, thanks to the sponsor of this video, GlassesUSA.com. Now, funny enough, I actually used GlassesUSA.com way back in the day when I first got these Bose frames because they were the company providing prescription lenses. It was an easy job to replace the lenses because Bose originally engineered the glass to pop out. It was just out with the old, in with the new. That was months ago. Now, GlassesUSA.com actually hooked me up with a number of frames from their catalog to share with you. There are over 6,000 styles to choose from, going from the premium offerings like the Ray-Bans you saw me wearing earlier to in-house budget-friendly brands like Muse. By the way, the Muse pairs have this really dope saying in the arms that you know I'm gonna be all about. But you know what, even though I have my Ray-Bans, I've actually been wearing this pair by Ototo the most. Now to start out, a complete set of frames and lenses can be $30 and include high quality GlassesUSA.com glass. Trust me, because of the Bose frames, I've been looking through their glass for months and I can personally vouch for their quality. Shopping online at their website cuts the middleman, so even if you go for a premium pair, the price is up to 70% off retail. You can set any prescription, pick add-ons like blue light filters, which I have in these glasses, and enjoy free shipping and returns within 14 days of delivery. So it's funny how GlassesUSA.com helped me out with the Bose frames a while back. I bought these lenses, and now they're hooking it up again, not only with the pairs that I have now, but also with a deal that you can find in the description down below. Head down there and check out GlassesUSA.com for yourself. So that was the story of me getting the Bose frames to be more helpful in my life. Because as sunglasses, I'm sure they're supposed to be just fun and for fun situations. So it's in these situations, like if you're out on the beach or if you're just running around and it's really sunny and hot out, that's when you can get the smart functionality of things like music or audio playing through the speakers in the arms. Unfortunately, that's not really how I view what smart glasses should be like. If you're going to have smart functionality for things like notifications, alerts, prompts, uh, shouldn't that device be on you as much as possible? That's the whole point behind smart watches after all. So that's the main reason why I went for the clear prescription lenses, uh, not only because I wanted to be able to see everything when I have these on, uh, but also that way these glasses could be on me more often and be able to give me the info I need in more scenarios. And here's the thing, 
The audio is good. Bose knows how to create this little bubble of sound so that you do feel immersed. The bass is basically non-existent, uh, as in you're not going to be feeling it, of course, but it's represented pretty well enough that for spoken word content and podcasts, it's like someone is actually talking to you. And the same goes for calls, because the mic in this pair is good too. I'm always going to feel cool getting a call from someone, hitting a button on my glasses, and then talking without anything around me or on me changing up. A short hold on the button here also brings up voice assistants like Alexa or Google, and it's an easy way of getting some commands out to the phone. Now, when people are close enough to you, they'll be able to hear the sound, but it's not an egregious amount of bleed. And if you're ever worried about safety when it comes to earbuds, the nature of the Bose frames means that you always have total auditory spatial awareness. The Bose frames continue to get updated, and a very recent feature that was added was volume control. It's interesting how they did it. If I'm moving my head left or right, as I'm moving my head, I can hold the button and it will adjust the volume slider based on my movement. It's a little bit quirky, but it works. Another feature that is based on gestures is just removing the glasses and putting them upside down. That way you can go into standby. That last move I just said is important because the battery life on this is unsurprisingly short. Three and a half hours of playback is far less than your typical set of truly wireless earbuds. But then again, I'm the one that's trying to use them all the time rather than just in the specific fun situations the sunglasses were made for. If you're going to go full eyeglasses with these, maybe reserve them for just calls, maybe Google Assistant, and shorter situations where you need to kill some time uh, with some media. Okay, so if audio is the method of making glasses smart, Bose really set the bar at $199 currently. There's a reason why these glasses are still highly rated despite those few flaws I mentioned. But if you want a heads up display on the level of something like Edith, here is the only current brand that's trying to make that a reality, the Focals by North. This is my first generation pair that is actually not on sale anymore because version two is on its way and I could not be more excited for it. Now, the Focals don't really do much audio at all because you get chimes from a small speaker that's right next to your ear. But instead, this projector right here shoots an image into the reflective bit of this prescription lens that you get custom fitted. The fitting experience I did last fall was massively futuristic as North made a 3D render of my head to perfectly tailor the Focals to my head shape. And once you get your pair, you have to line up the special bit of glass so that you can see what's coming out of the projector. It's never quite a clear image, instead it's a somewhat vague bit of info floating in your periphery until you look right at it. But any person using the focals will tell you this is the funniest part. You could be talking to someone dead in their eyes and then a message comes in and then your gaze ever so slightly shifts. But it goes to show you how cool it is to take the info from your phone and find other ways of repackaging it. A heads up display is always cool. You get every notification you set in the app. As they flood in, you decide if you want to do something about it. The method of navigation is through a smart ring with a joystick. You can dictate a quick reply using the onboard mic or use some canned replies. And when it comes to voice assistants, Alexa is this pair's assistant of choice. And finally, there are a bunch of apps that North have developed to extend the glasses utility. Now this is where my gripes with these smart glasses come in. All of these capabilities, first of all, require thick arms and thus slip about pretty easily. Positioning the glasses in just the right place to align the projector can be hard to do as a result. Now you see why I love these keypons. Also, the arms don't fold all the way down either. And there are some typical Gen 1 tropes. The battery life is pretty short, which is expected, but this is the charging case. It takes a USB-C cable and magnetically charges both the glasses and the ring. The problem is it's just too big. And then there's the genuine daily experience. For getting notifications and minimizing my phone time, these are sublime and really feel like the future. But the apps never really got useful for me. Hailing Ubers, getting turn-by-turn -turn directions, reading off some notes, and other little things that North have developed never got past the first few novel uses. So just like with smartwatches, I never use the small apps. It's for that reason that I'm super excited for Focals by North Gen 2, version 2.0. They're meant to be sleeker and easier on your noggin. For someone like me that uses smart wearables as a way of minimizing the amount of time on my phone, that makes perfect sense. I'm happy to use smart wearables as notification centers, that way I can just keep my phone where it is, whether it's my pocket or somewhere else. You know, there are a lot of people like me that wear glasses every single day. Making this smarter just makes sense to someone like me. And by now, we've had some pretty good first attempts. There just has to be some minimizing of the form factors to make them more accessible. Honestly, every pair of smart glasses eventually gets hiring to wear even with the keep-ons. 
The focals are heavy, while the Bose frames are just bulky. Eventually, they're coming off anyway to charge. If anything, my dream pair of smart glasses, currently, would be the heads-up display of the focals mixed in with the audio quality of the Bose frames, in a size that's basically like the Bose frames, but ideally we could get slimmer. That's a lot to ask, I know, and I'm sure that a pair of glasses like that would cost a ton of money. After all, the Focals Gen 1 were $599. But with announcements from the likes of Huawei with their Gentle Monster collab, the leaks of the Apple Glass, and the continued innovation from Focals by North, I'm really excited to see where this segment of smart wearables goes. As always, thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to give a general look at these smart glasses that I did not really do full reviews on singularly, so I thought I would just round them up, and it just so happens that this video was sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. Seriously, the homies over there have done a great job with having a great catalog, but originally I just love them for having prescription version lenses for the Bose frames. Make sure you get to the link in the description down below to see everything that GlassesUSA.com has to offer. From there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. At the very least, drop some likes on this video, get into the comment sections, and tell me if you have any of these smart glasses. And if you do go to GlassesUSA.com, let me know which glasses you ended up picking. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you can keep up with everything that I'm doing. And until my next video, I would just remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody.